What's going on everybody? My name is Rick McCormick, a regional staffer with Storm Products. And today we're gonna to be bringing you a new bowling ball release, which is a blast from the past when it comes to Storm Products. The brand new Virtual Energy Blackout. So the Virtual Energy Blackout has the REX Pearl Reactive cover stock that was seen originally in the Dark Code and the Infinite Physics. Big, strong Pearl Reactive cover stock to handle those heavier lane conditions. And the REX Pro Reactive cover stock is wrapped around the Shape Lock HD core, which was seen originally in the Virtual Energy back when it came out, back in 2008, 2009, um, right after that very popular Virtual Gravity. Those two were one-two punch, and this is a modern version, essentially, of the Virtual Energy. So in the video, I'm going to show you how this is going to fit in my bag, what I like about it, and how I think that it's going to fit in your bag and see if you need it for your upcoming league season. All right, so we got the layouts for the bowling balls we're gonna be comparing in this video. We got this virtual energy blackout. Like I said, sharp colors, pin over by bridge. It's pretty standard for me. It's about four and a half inches away from my pap with the mass further away than, from my thumb hole than normal. This just gets it to stand up a hair earlier for me. I will say I threw this in league on Wednesday and I did knock the shine off of it, so it does have a light 3000, so it doesn't look as shiny as what it was out of the box. Um, but knock the shine off it. I usually do that to the shiny balls so they're not so, so clean. And then we have the Zen Gold label, which the Zen Gold label has been a very important part in my bag when the lanes start to transition, there's some friction on the lanes. And this is a symmetric ball where the virtual energy blackout is an asymmetric ball. So we're gonna go ahead and compare these two stay tuned all right so we're gonna go to a little bit further right than normal for our traditional house shot here at northwest lanes it's pretty good now what i will say is i just bowled in league on wednesday with this ball um it is for me in my eyes it's a cleaner option through the front part of the lane but in my opinion, it's very smooth down lane, which I think is going to be very versatile for a bunch of different styles. And you're going to throw the, be able to throw this ball on a bunch of different patterns as well. And also, too, I'm going to throw this shot. One of my buddies was talking to me. This ball flares a lot for me. Oh, that's a little ripe. Oh. But as you can see, that shot got it further to the right. You know, normally shinier balls, I would just sit there and, you know, kind of T-bone down lane. That one just wanted to roll off it. So it's a shinier option that's very smooth down lane, very predictable. That's why I think I'm going to like it personally. Check out that. All those flare rings. On ball flares a lot. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to stay in the same spot. I'm just going to throw it a little bit crisper oh good lord like i said not throwing it very good to be honest with you but that shot further to the right again i got after it a little bit more but same thing it didn't overhook it just nice and predictable and rolled off the back end All right, let's go ahead and move a couple further left here. Yeah, that one kind of came over top of it a little bit. Let's see if I can make this pair with two fingers real quick. Go. Oh. Dang. All right, let's go ahead and try to throw a little bit better of a shot. Playing further left. There we go. A lot better. It's very crazy. 710, kind of weird hit right there, but it's very continuous to the pins, which is what I really like about it. Sometimes asymmetric bowling balls, they tend to burn up and go forward. Also, too, sometimes the symmetric balls, like you'll see in the Zengol label, sometimes they're just too fast down lane. This one, 
really it just it's clean but it's so predict for me it's so predictable off the end of the lane that i feel like i can do what i want with it with my hand and also can throw it on a bunch of different areas of the lane let's go I I five left here Like I said, it's just very controllable. It, it goes down lane, I will say. It goes down lane, but it's a predictable, continuous kind of down lane motion, which, like I said, I think I'm going to be a big fan of personally. Um, I did watch Darren Tang's video, and he said that, you know, this is probably his favorite ball right now in his bag, and I would probably agree with that, honestly. Um, it's a very, like I said, it's a clean, controllable option. Me personally, it reminds me a lot of my Tour Dynamics, just shiny. Tour Dynamics, if you don't have one, you need one. It's a smoother ball that I can throw on a bunch of different lane patterns, different areas on the lane, but it's earlier. Where this one is a, it's a stronger ball, but it's cleaner. So to get through that front part of the lane and all that dirt, and then it'll give you that nice, predictable, but continuous motion down lane. So let's go ahead and throw more shot with this. And then we will throw the gold label. Said so it's just that nice controllable down lane motion. I mean, it's it's pretty good. All right, now we got the Zen Gold label. Like I said, this has been a big, big part of my bag for when the lane starts to transition. Decent amount of friction on the lanes. So we're gonna stand where we normally stand for a house shot. It's kind of hard to tell by the eye, but that one for me wanted to go maybe a foot longer and it did pack more of a punch down lane just because it being a symmetric core. The covers I feel like are probably close. The Virtual Energy Blackout may be a stronger cover, a hair stronger cover, but the Zen Gold label and those two, the covers are pretty similar. It's just the difference between the cores and how strong the cores are. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move a couple left here. Oh, good Lord, I almost fell. Hit it. Oh. That was good because if I threw my virtual energy in that spot, I probably would have 3610, which that should have, but it still wanted to float through it a little bit more, but that wasn't a very good shot, let's be honest. Go ahead and throw a couple more with this. Like I said, Zen Gold Label. If you loved your Zen, you're going to love this one, I promise. Oh, man, blocked it. But yeah, that one I didn't throw very good, but it got to the friction and kind of just wanted to like fizzle out. Where the Virtual Energy Blackout for me, it would see that and keep going. Not go high, but it would keep going and go through the pins. There you go. See how that one that one really wanted to go through the front part of the lane, go through that middle part of the lane. It went probably a foot or two further than the blackout, just like I said, just because of the core difference. So we're going to go ahead and throw one more with the virtual energy blackout. Oh, yeah. A lot earlier, a lot earlier. Like I said, it's just the core difference. The covers are pretty similar, but the core makes that virtual energy blackout stand up quicker. So the virtual energy blackout, when it comes to asymmetric balls from Storm, a lot of them are quicker. Eternity, clone, maybe even exotic gem. This one is a cleaner option, but it's a more round off the spot, which is a very unique addition to those asymmetric bowling balls from Storm products. So to me, it fits the gap in between Eternity, clone, Exotic Gem, and then the Zen, Zen Gold Label, and the Phase 5. I'm bowling a regional tomorrow, and Fishers, Indiana, on 44 feet. 
The fronts tend to hook there a little bit. Now I am gonna take a virtual energy blackout as well as a clone or an Eternity, not both of them. The Eternity or the clone, they kind of serve the same purpose. Big, strong, kind of quicker bowling balls for those, you know, that asymmetric for the heavier line conditions where the blackout is cleaner and it's more round off the spot. So we have two different shapes that we'll be taking, kind of in that same spot for the heavier line conditions, just two different shapes. So, but yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Love doing these. Thank you to Storm. Thank you for allowing me to throw the best products and having faith in me. I cannot thank you guys enough for everything that you've done for my bowling career. Also, too, head over to coolwick.com. Check out these cool jerseys. Got a little Cincinnati Bearcats jersey. It's football season. Big Cincinnati fan. Um, use my code RMCormick10 for 10% off your order. The jersey does have 84 on your back. Um, also, too, thank you to Bowler X. Krista and Lee Sant for all they do when it comes to Bowler X. They do a fantastic job on the website. Anything you guys need from a website or from bowling, go over to bowlerx.com. And also, too, last but not least, thank you to Vice Sensors for giving me the best feel when it comes to my thumbs, my finger grips, and my performance tape. So, like I said, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning in Fishers, Indiana.